I bet you haven't read this one. I showed Miss Turner a copy of Alicia, my story. As always, the answer was yes. I would do this every week. Miss Turner was my English teacher for three years. She was particularly drawn to Holocaust narratives, and I slowly was becoming an expert in the subject, at least for a high school student. One day, the quote of the day on her whiteboard read, stand up for what is right, even if you stand alone. That was the first day I considered what that meant and how I would work to uphold that. As a child, I was raised to carry myself with pride and dignity. I was taught to respect others as equals, regardless of race, class, gender, or any other social status. Most importantly, I was taught to stand up for myself and speak my mind. In school, however, I was taught how to be what society considered to be a good student and how to be a patriotic American. But there was more to learn. In Dr. Lopez's Chicana Chicano Studies classes at Fullerton College, I realized the breadth of the betrayal of having my history intentionally omitted from my previous education. I know now that I have a beautiful and tumultuous past. I was angry. It was through education that I also understood that I have a responsibility not only to my community, but to all of those who came before me. For years, I fought, I screamed, I marched, trying to release the deep sense of betrayal. Dr. Hytrek at Cal State Long Beach gave me the tools that I needed to transcend that anger and move into action. As a determined and educated Chicana feminist, I was able to start clawing my way out of that darkness and anger. Through community organizing, I have been exposed to many intensely disheartening, but also deeply inspirational moments. With the current political climate being one of aggression and violence, I am reminded that there is a better way. Recently, at a city council meeting, where there were two clearly opposing sides, I witnessed hate speech and fists flying. My mission became clear. Encourage community leaders and students to engage in and actively pursue social justice. United, standing up for what is right, with the goal of not having to do it alone.